ladies and gentlemen welcome to this video my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I will be your host for this video, no I am kidding prankster I got a huge video for you today, a lot of things are going to happen as you can see I have a different skin on it is the Ben 10 skin yes that is right the real Ben 10 today we are going to build Ben 10 his house with his favorite colors, and guess what those are, yay that is right the color green and what is my favorite color yes green that is also right that is why we are going to make a greenhouse well at least we are going to try to make one, I hope that you members of sub squad will like it, let's start with finding a nice spot to build the house but wait, we are in a flat area everywhere we go it will be flat so I think we should start building as soon as possible, we are going to need some materials a lot of green materials, it said does anyone ever saw Ben 10 his house because I actually have no idea. I am just going to try to improvise and see where it will lead us. You know what I hate about this flat land well there are no animal spawns and not even mob spawns. If zombies spawned maybe I could get some rotten flesh. And I mean it is better than not eating I guess. But if we get skeletons we don't have any food. Because well skeletons don't have any flesh or meat on them. Those things are just bones, so that would suck if those spawned here because they are a pickle for you if you have to deal with them with their bow and arrows and they are pretty much douch bags. I don't like skeletons, you might like skeletons but I don't like them, in matter of fact I think I hate them just a little bit. All they give is crappy loot, sometimes they wear like golden armor or something like that and an enchanted bow, but when you kill them, they just give you poopy loot. If they are holding an enchanted bow you just get some crappy almost broken bow that 9 out of 10 times is not even enchanted. But we are still busy with building our floor. But that is the base of a house so it is important to have a good foundation. When you don't have a good foundation, your house might fall apart. It might not do that in Minecraft. But I don't know man, I am better of building a good foundation than that I get my head crushed by the ceiling that collapses while I am asleep or when I am inside this block which I can't escape yet. But if I am in my home and then just all of a sudden this house decides to collapse and I would get stuck underneath and I would be really sad. I could have built a nice foundation, but no I did not want to take the time to build a good foundation so now I have half a roof on my shoulder. And to have a roof on your body will probably not feel very good. At least I can imagine that having a roof of a mansion on your body will not be pleasant. But it is time for some light because I can't be bothered with squinting my eyes like this the entire time. And I think for all of you at home this will probably be annoying as well. But we also need to get our garden started. So if we are done with the house we can at least eat or at least look at our garden. Or will we just skip that and build this house first just because we don't want to build the garden? Well I think that would also be a pretty great idea to be honest with you. But if we just keep making the ceiling better and at least closed. Because I am not sure yet that if it rains on this block from the outside world. If it would get wet in here. I don't know yet but I think there would be a really good possibility that something like that could happen but i mean the roof is coming along we are not no thatcher or anything like that so stop judging me there are a couple of holes in the roof but that is okay like we are not a professional roof maker or otherwise called a thatcher i think at least i could be wrong don't quote me on that but i think so no but anyways the roof is almost don't and it is better than looking up in the sky while you are lying in bed and having to look at all of this dirty dirt and the dirt is even dark so it would not be pleasant maybe there are worms or other insects in the block its wall so then we will not even see the worms because it would be so dark and i would be really afraid while i am in bed and then I could not sleep and when I can't sleep I can't build the next day so this house would never get finished if I don't make the roof. But we have the roof so that is good for us. So, if we just take some more other blocks then we can build a really nice house and it would be really cozy inside this block. But what if all of these blocks that we place? there would be someone inside them as well. I don't know this might just be a television show in the future and we now have a television so we can watch it as well as we live it. Darn that would be freaky. But no think about that. Someone might have thought hey I am putting a dirt block just here and now I am building inside this block and every block that I place there would be someone living inside of that block and those people will place blocks as well and then we would just have an inception of blocks and it would be an unlimited block inception and people will get scared if they know the truth that creeps me out a bit I don't know I don't really like the thought of that so let's just think that we are outside and we are not in a dirt block building a television right now and we are building a really tiny couch for this big of a television 
but as I said earlier we have to watch where and how much blocks we place because we are living in a block and there is not a lot of space inside this block so we have to create space using our imagination. So, this couch has to be tiny. If we build a really big couch instead of other things that humans needs to survive then where will we end up? Well I would not know where we would end up if we build a really big couch but I don't think that our future with a very big couch would be all like a pony camp. So, we have to learn from yesterday live for today and hope for tomorrow maybe we will get out of this block one day who knows well i know that i don't know so i guess that that is a beginning but i am not really sure about all of these torches that are just on my wall my mansion is built out of wood so it could burn the place let's place a wooden door so the fire could at least not escape this room and the rest of the block would be safe but i think that all of the smoke would get up in the air but the smoke has no place to go so we will inhale all of the smoke that is from the fire that is burning my mansion to the ground darn that is one hell of a sad thought i need to be a bit more positive like this thing that i am building right now against the wall i bet you guys don't know what this is yet or what its purpose will be but let me tell you one thing right now this is going to be our kitchen where we will prepare our food that we don't have so for hygienic reasons let's build the floor out of bricks because wood is not really that hygienic but i think that brick floors look really good but bricks are pretty hard to get, well if you are in survival mode that is, because you have to find clay first and when you have the clay you need to dig all of the clay away and you could do that underwater and underwater that takes a lot of time to dig one block away. But if you have shoveled that block away, then you will end up with clay and that clay you have to bring to your furnace and when you bring it to your furnace then you also will need something that will keep the clay on a high temperature so you are going to need a resource that will make your clay into bricks and well if you have that it is pretty easy because you just put the four loose bricks together and then all of a sudden it is a big brick that you can place down but yes now we have transformed into my other half and you know what time it is right well I will give you just one tip and that is explosions yes we are going to do really savage things I am going to blow the greenhouse up in the air and then make a red house yes that is something really savage not everyone can do that only Ben 10 can do things like that if I just didn't fell off then we would have gotten that smiley and then all of my problems would have been saved but that didn't happen so I guess that is okay and we just not get the smiley but we can always try again if we would really like to do that I guess. And we are just going on a little Michael Phelps tour. Oh you might not know him, I don't know. But he is a really famous and fast swimmer. And for Shark Week the madman is going to race a shark. So I thought that might be worth mentioning. Because well, the man is going to race a shark which is pretty darn cool if you would ask me. I mean who is going to be faster than a shark? Well I guess that Michael Phelps is going to be faster than a shark so he is going to try and be faster, and I hope for the man that he is going to be actually faster, I wonder how they are going to do the race though. So, we are just going on an adventure like Tomb Raider since we are just climbing cobblestones that were on the side of the wall, but we are in the next map so that is just fantastic but what would be even more fantastic is if we would just chill on the wall right here and if we would just not do anything anymore and we were just going to sleep right here right now and just snooze for a bit and then like wake up in half an hour or maybe just five more minutes I am not sure but I guess that wouldn't really be entertaining for you guys to watch so I am not going to sleep and I am just going to chill on these walls like it is a castle I am not really sure what it is actually supposed to be but it looks quite amazing but we are being Tomb Raider again since we are climbing the walls but now not anymore and we have found some new faces and I am not sure how I should get to the old one but he looks really surprised and I quite like him. But we have got some new ones and I kind of like all of the ones so far, there has not been a face that I was like, no, I don't like that face can I put it back? No that is not what is happening. It is just kind of relaxing right now and we just have a lot of faces and it is just amazing to have all of these faces, and some of them are like really cool and some of them are just normally cool but they are still alright which is just fantastic. But we are just climbing the wall to the alien looking one and we have got that one and he looks really awkward but he is still pretty cool. But I want that arch one on top of the arch since it looks really amazing but I guess that there is an invisible wall right there or something I don't know. But we have got all of these amazing stickers in here which we are collecting. But it would be cool to have a book or something where you could actually see your progress or something I don't know it is just a thought. 
It might just be in the game who knows but I don't see it anywhere but I am enjoying myself quite well with this search hunt thing so that is just really fantastic and all of that isn't it? Yes, that is fantastic I believe so that is just amazing as well. Fantastic and amazing together could be a mastic. That isn't a word but it could be a word who knows? Word is also a program that you use to type and all of that so is that a coincidence? Not sure. But it could be a coincidence though. But we are climbing these stairs again and we are falling and all of that and we are just chilling and we are just really amazing. Wait no we are not falling neither are we on stairs. We are doing a parkour this is just really amazing what we are doing right here. But it is really cool and all of that because we are really high in the sky and I am feeling amazing. It is really high, if we fall then that wouldn't be good. But we fell so that is not good, but there is a face right here which is good. I don't know if we had this one yet but it doesn't seem like we had this one yet which is just amazing so now we have one extra by accident really so that is a coincidence that took out really well and now I am really happy. But we can go climb all of these stairs again and then we can do the parkour again and take the really amazing face that is at the end of that one. Then we also need to climb the really amazing crane. But now we have to start all over again and it is just kind of boring at the beginning since it is just quite easy. These are just really small jumps and all of that so if you fall right here then you are not really that good in parkour but after a while it gets harder every like tile so that is really annoying and you just fall just like I just did but now I am on a bridge and I am on my way to A castle and this is just even more amazing. So now let's just do some more parkour. But not a normal parkour but now we have to climb something and this is a wall climb and that is really amazing and we already got the face so that is just fantastic. Now we have the smug guy I guess. I don't know what he was supposed to be but however he just looked really cool so I guess that is good for him that he has that going to him and all of that. But now we are just going to climb again and then we are going to go on a different adventure and that adventure is just going to be great. You could already see the face and we just failed right in front of the face and that feels really bad. But I mean now we have a new one so that is alright and this one is sticking its tongue out or something or his teeth I am not really sure what it is supposed to be but that is alright. So let's do all of this wall climbing again because that is also really amazing and I quite enjoy just doing all of this so that is very nice. So now we can try again with the zipline, but we failed again so that is just fantastic. I mean we can always try again one more time so let's just do that or something then since we don't really have anything else to do except for taking this one face since that face is just really fantastic and I want it because it is teasing me and it seems to be so easy to get it but it is really not easy but this this time it was easy and just like that the reward just feels amazing and we did an Assassin's Creed dive into the purple water and now we are just enjoying a little swim in this probably very toxic water, oh lord. It better not be some chemicals that are going to grow myself an extra pair of eyes on my legs or something, that would not be great. Or a third leg or something like that. But we now have the in love face which also looks just fantastic and you can just throw this face to your crush if you want and then she will fall in love with you. That is what a fantastic little face that is. But this swim is quite relaxing but we can't really chill in this water because I know that there is like this red house that is looking darn awesome. Like look at it, it is fully red maybe it is getting time to change my favorite color into red. How do you members of sub squad think? I think we should first think of this very carefully and after that just hit the track with it really nice and smooth. What should we do when we are done with this house? Let me think let's come up with some options yes we can sell it for a nice price but then there is nobody to sell it to it's just a flat land where nothing is around no animals no mobs and no minecraft players. So I guess that isn't an option maybe we should just blow it up no no that would be a waste of time then we will just leave it here and maybe one day it may come of use. Maybe one of you viewers wants it I don't know ha 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 beautiful people I think it is getting time to end this video or should we continue a bit more? Yes alright a bit more then because I do it for you the people the prankster the prank squad did you guys like this video because I did I didn't make a house as nice like this for a long time so it was a really nice feeling I know the inside details aren't that nice but I will add that after the video really fast and call Steve to come have a look maybe he has some tips to give me that way I can make it even better if he has time of course and if he doesn't well then I will just leave it like this for and wait for Steve we all love waiting don't we know I am being sarcastic I don't like waiting but that said people the house is done and it just beautiful so for now I am going to say goodbye and I will see you in the next video alright be sure to check that.
one out because things are really getting mixed up but for now bye pranksters. Thank <laughs> you.